dial type vacuum gauges are a standard fixture in the vacuum cleaner industry but how do you know these are reading accurately? You drop one of these a couple of times and it is not accurate anymore. So these are kind of temperamental. The whole concept of water lift uh, comes from actually lifting a column of water up a U-shaped tube. And so you can make a giant water lift gauge, just a U-shaped clear tube. But if you want to measure 100 inches of water lift, that thing's got to be 100 inches tall. And so one thing you can use is a heavier liquid like mercury. Lots of your industrial vacuum cleaners are rated in mercury lift, which is um, convertible to water lift by just multiplying the mercury reading by 13.59. Now, you can buy liquid mercury online. It is not cheap, and it's also kind of hazardous, and you've got to take some precautions dealing with it. Don't drink it. Don't breathe the fumes, <laughs> or you will have a bad time. Uh, but that lets you make a much more compact vacuum gauge. These are my uh, experiments trying to make a nice U-shaped channel with a router bit. And uh, here's my, my finished product here. Please note this is not a Spencer turbine product, but uh, we have a U-shaped tube that sits in a channel. It's full of mercury, about half full to the zero mark. And uh, I've calibrated, actually these are one inch apart, but if it goes up one inch here, it goes down one inch there. So your um, readings are actually two inches on one side for every inch. And let me show you how this works. Okay, so on this vacuum gauge, we're showing just a little over 100 inches, closer to 110. And if we connect We actually have about seven and a half inches of mercury column, which is equivalent to, well, if eight inches is equivalent to 109 inches of water. So we're hovering around 100, maybe a hair less. Thank goodness, I was losing a lot of sleep at night, wondering if my dial type vacuum gauges were reading accurately. Now I know.